Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I messed up because I've been home from the swap meet and I thought, I think I'll buy myself some ice cream. <coughs> so I went to Dollar Tree and I bought two kinds that I like for $1 each. What I really don't want to do is spend money. Um, today, the dog had to go to the vet, 140 something dollars. I mean, it's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars every time you turn around you have to be so careful with your money so in the last two weeks i made about 300 extra dollars so i wanted to experiment and i think i'll go for the butter pecan and i wanted to try to sell some uh, 25 cent items and thinking maybe it would pay my way in. So I took a few plants and I sold a couple of um, a couple of cactus plants. No sunflower seed seedlings. I was kind of glad. I'm going to replant them in the backyard. I wanted to try food because I want to sell the food before it expires if I can't eat it all because I and so I sold eight cans of food for for a dollar oh I'm pretty good I didn't take too many because they're heavy and then I tried um, what else did I take oh I sold jewelry small dollar items of jewelry I sold a box of makeup for five bucks, but the main thing I wanted to get rid of was the clothes because they were junking up the house. So within two weeks, I pretty got, well got rid of a majority of the clothes. Well, that was good. I sold them really, really cheap for a dollar. And then, you know, I sold a couple purses I didn't sell any more camp gear. Uh, that kind of stuff is usually easier to sell in the uh, winter time. So, okay, so I'm not going back to the swap meet because I think we're having, we're seeing a spike in the COVID or the variant and they're admitting to a spike in, I think it's China, I'm not sure. And we're having all these uh, disasters. And then also there is the case of monkeypox like smallpox, but monkeypox, that is in Texas. So what happened was I worked in low-end shops and they would always want to do an exodus back to their country. And when they would do these exoduses back to their country, they would like to go and visit or orphanages and hospitals and, and they would come back in terrible shape. I'll never forget one, usually, even the missionaries, a lot of times these people are missionaries. You know, you think, well, God is going to protect them. No, they would come back very sick a lot of the time. Uh, the water is pretty contaminated. The living conditions are filthy. And, you know, you can pick up stuff just like they, they did. A lot of times doctors will fly back. They'll be over there, they'll be in medical school, they'll be doing uh, medicine stuff, and they'll pick up stuff and they'll fly right back to the U.S. to get medical treatment. All of them will if they need it. So when I was a nurse, and people used to say, well, you know, that doesn't make the patient feel good. I didn't touch anyone without gloves in a nursing home or in a hospital. And if you remember, they made sure there was no gloves at the beginning of the pandemic. So we want to make sure we have gloves and masks. This whole time, even at the swap meet, even though it was outside, I had on two masks. And out here, people think everything is okay. Um, I'd say the thing to do is just, if, if you've kept yourself safe this entire time, keep doing the same thing. Uh, keep an eye on uh, Europe, keep an eye on um, Africa, this monkeypox came out of South Africa. I always thought South Africa was kind of a prosperous place, but evidently not, not that much. There's, there's poor places there, poverty places. Also in a, 
a lot of countries like India, they have intermingling living with animals. Their animals, you know, are inside. I mean, what are you going to do if you don't have a yard, you know? So um, I'm going to, I'm not going to be going back to the swap meet for a while. First of all, this morning at, at 9.30, it was starting to get very hot. So both weeks I left at 9.30. So that worked out pretty good. I'd get there about 6.30 or 7 and leave at 9.30. Get rid of my junk and make about 100 bucks. So I want to encourage you guys, if you need money, sell your junk. Uh, that's what people are looking for. Okay, so now back to these diseases. Okay, what's happening is the airlines are opened up and people can fly into the country and transmit us the diseases. And I'm thinking, how about space? Can <laughs> God, it's not funny. There's the other aspect, though. And this is a bad aspect of God's judgments. Uh, we're having all these floods. So in the Bible, most of the time, the, the judgments came because the people were worshiping idols. And the bad, one of the bad things that happened were these hybrid, um, like Isis was head of the frog and body of a um, human, um, head of a goat, body of a human. Uh, you know, they were um, a mermaid. Anyway, so any, and this is partly why it was so evil during the uh, giants or various races of non-human people and humans. So uh, the reason I think we're seeing uh, this human um, animal mixing is because it is easier for a demon to uh, inhabit one of these hybrids because they don't have a body and they want to get one and so in the end of times we are promised that a lot of devils are going to be let loose on us so these devils want to get bodies also they say clones you know where the problem with the clones or the hybrids is they have to severely agitate or traumatize the egg and denucleate that egg and put the other nucleus in and so, like, if, you know, a lot of, um, you know, this stuff that results in, well, I guess you could put a uh, possession, it, you have to traumatize the person. So now, of course, they're very e evil, so they found a way to traumatize a person before the person is even born. It's very bad. So another thing is like when we're seeing these judgments, you know, we're seeing these terrible catastrophes. You can say, well, you know, it's the area or whatever. So we will say to ourselves, well, is there any worship of idols going on in this country by any chance? And some of them are getting very aggressive and strong as of late. Is there any witchcraft going on in this uh, culture? Is there any um, like... Um, looking for serpents, dragons, um, voodoo, um, uh, familiar spirits, spirit guides, ascended spirits, uh, that kind of stuff kind of indicates uh, idol worship. And you will notice that most of these leaders of cults, they come to a very bad end. <laughs> it's very bad. So uh, some of this stuff could be the judgments. Okay, so has this country done anything to harm other people recently? And then they're receiving a judgment. You know, and uh, there was a prophet and he said, God is visiting the big cities. This was a couple months ago. And he said it was like a mist would come over the city. And I had this dream and it was like, a cloud but not a cloud like more uh, substantial than a cloud on top of the city and i thought oh wow i think god is visiting the city the city so where there's there's now in the um old testament the judgments were for the evil doers you and another thing is um down through history i mean like the aztecs i think it was the aztecs or the incas child sacrifice 
you know, um, an idol god will will require some kind of sacrifice, usually of life, uh, usually requiring blood, which is very gruesome. So, like when we see this really bad thing, we want to say, is there any element of of this stuff going on in these areas? Some of the areas can have strongholds of devils, and then you know, they receive God's judgments. So we're looking for that. So, okay, you guys, I just wanted to say that about the monkeypox. If you, monkeypox or shingles or anything like that, do not handle the person without gloves. Why do you think people generally wear gloves, I mean masks in, hosp in hospitals? Why do you think that's so? So they won't inhale the contaminants. And um, like at one point, they didn't even want to really alert the health care givers that, that something was really highly contagious. So what we had to do is assume everyone is highly contagious. So that is my advice. Assume everyone's got anything and everything. Don't let yourself be cooped up in close proximity. It's very, very dangerous. A big, huge cr uh, crowds are very, very dangerous. Um, I must say where I was at the swap meet today, I, I don't think I could have found a safer spot if I was going to do that. But I said to my son, okay, that's over for now. You know, I got rid of, I had so many clothes because I had clothes for eBay and when they didn't sell, they accumulated and I wanted to get rid of them. So I'm still being cheap. I'm still watching my money. You know, um, you know, I wanted to say one more thing. I forgot. Trying to make a little extra money will really help you. It could be 10 extra dollars. It could be 20 extra dollars. It could be 50 extra dollars. But when you do it continuously, it really helps in the long run. In a month, like, okay, this last two weeks, I had 300 extra dollars. Well, it might have been more than that because I sold a watch on eBay. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.